so in this learning we will discuss the textbook classification and SPSS classification of the types of variables so when we are reading textbook on statistics we often read this classification that uh, book defines or classifies data into quantitative variable and qualitative variable so but when you start learning SPSS you will wonder that you won't see this classification right and uh, where, uh, data is expressed very differently and you are confused right but here we will learn that what is the comparison between textbook classification textbook classification and SPSS classification of these two variables right quantitative variables is also sometimes known as also known as continuous data and in SPSS literature qualitative data is many times also a called categorical data categorical data so there are categories for sure when there is a qualitative data right so but when we go into SPSS in detail and we study we realize that we realize that the continuous data or quantitative data in SPSS it is known as nothing else in SPSS it is known as scale variable or scale measurement level so and categorical data in SPSS is known as the ordinal measure and the nominal measure ordinal measure and nominal measure so it is worth understanding that quantitative variables in SPSS quantitative variables in SPSS has quantitative variables in SPSS has a scale measure right and qualitative variables in SPSS has ordinal or nominal measures and in SPSS qualitative data is also known as categorical data now let us analyze quantitative data in detail quantitative data in detail first thing we have to know about quantitative data is that the scale measure always has a meaningful metric measurement so whenever you have a scale variable we will have a good metric measurement moreover this scale data can be presented either on a interval scale or on a ratio scale for example if i say dividend paid okay dividend paid is uh, like i say okay dividend paid is 40 dollars right so it is clear right it is clear 40 dollars means it is a ratio scale we know 40 dollars per share is the dividend paid by one company abc limited and 30 dollar is dividend paid by another company xyz so this is a ratio scale because here we can clearly tell that 40 is more than 30 right 
so clearly we can tell that there is a distance and that distance is also measurable that there is a difference of ten dollars per uh, share dividend right and dividend per share right and if i say that dividend is zero then it means there is no dividend paid by the company right so this is a true zero point two zero point means that zero value makes sense right and zero value may means absence of that particular thing right zero dividend means absence of dividend no dividend zero money means no money zero salary means no salary right so there is a true zero in ratio scale but in interval scale it is also a metric measurement we can also say 30 degree celsius right right we can also say 20 degree celsius the temperature is and we can say that 30 degree celsius is 10 degrees cel 10 degree celsius more than 20 degree celsius right but there is no true zero there is no true zero true zero point does not exist what does it mean if i say that the temperature is zero degree celsius right or zero degree fahrenheit it does not mean that the temperature is absent right so that is why temperature uh, in celsius and fahrenheit is a good example of interval scale so interval scale does not have a true zero whereas ratio scale has a true zero both of these are quantitative variables though right qualitative variables on the other hand can be classified into can be classified into the ordinal variables ordinal measures and also the nominal measures so what we call qualitative data in textbook is actually a ordinal measure and nominal measure of SPSS right so SPSS does not use the term qualitative data it just uses the nominal measure and the ordinal measure for that right so SPSS meaning of qualitative data is either a nominal measure or a ordinal measure right and now the difference between ordinal and the nominal measure is this one right so ordinal measure represent categories that are ranked for example if there is a question somebody asks you how satisfied you are from your job and the categories are right it is a categorical data right there are categories and one is very dissatisfied two is dissatisfied three is satisfied four is very satisfied so when we have categories and these categories can be ranked then this is ordinal data so we must understand here that categories are ranked right categories are ranked but there is no meaningful distance no meaningful distance between the two categories right for example it is very difficult to find distance between these categories which are ranked like what is distance between high medium low right so right so this is to be understood right so one more time ordinal variables right they represent categories of course categories can be ranked yes but there is no meaningful dif distance uh, here i should write meaningful there is no meaningful distance between these categories right now the other side we have nominal data nominal data is categorical data yes 
right? But are there any ranks? No, there are no ranks. Although we use numbers here to give the categories, one is sales, two is accounting, three is research, but these are not ranked ones, right? So there is no way we are saying there is no way we are saying that research is better than accounting or accounting is better than sales, right? It is just that we are using numbers to represent the categories, but which one is higher, which one is lower, there is no way. We cannot rank them from smallest to highest. Now let us discuss some examples of all these types of variables. The quantitative data, right, which is a scale measure in SPSS, right? So if we have, we are measuring age in years, right, that is of course a uh, scale variable or quantitative variable. If we are um, and calculating or recording marks obtained, this is of course uh, height, weight, income, all these are quantitative variables, right? So because we will measure them in metric scale and uh, uh, these are kind of dividends, right? All these are examples of scale, scale variables right so it these will have a values like age is 26 marks are 98.2 percent right height is 5 feet 3 inch right uh, weight is uh, say 72 kg income is three thousand five hundred ten dollars dividend received on share is ten dollar seventy five cents right so all these are examples of um, quantitative data right ordinal data as we said earlier is taken on a scale right we have a scale to measure so ordinary variable ordinal variable can have scale like low medium high something like that right so there is a ranking right there is a ranking we definitely know that high is more than medium and medium is more than low but the distance between them cannot be measured right and nominal variable is also a categorical variable and its example would be something like gender, right? Gender. If we say zero female, one male, then kind of this is a this is a, this is an example of nominal variable, right? Similarly, if you take some examples like if you want to have religion affiliation or relig religious affili affiliations like something like one two three one for this religion two for this religion three for this religion right then this is also a nominal variable right similarly if we say one is this zone okay north zone okay and uh, we say Two is a south zone and uh, three is west zone and four is east zone right this way when we make these examples then these are all examples of nominal variable so in nominal variable although there are categories but there are no ranks and there is no way we are saying that east region which region which has a value of four is higher than west zone which has a value of three and west zone is higher than south zone no we are not saying that right so we are not saying that although we are making categories but these categories are not ranked so similarly marital status married unmarried never married single divorced all these marital status would also be is 
an example of uh, nominal variable right so these are the famous or most popular examples so when we are uh, using spss please remember that definitions of spss are different from the definition uh, given in the textbook right and what we know as quantitative variable in, uh, in the textbook right that is a scale measure in spss and what is known as qualitative variable in the textbook is actually ordinal measure and uh, nominal measure right both are qualitative variables and spss also calls both of them as categorical data right both nominal and uh, ordinal or categorical data so with this understanding you should uh, classify your uh, variables uh, appropriately so so that uh, the statistical analysis can be performed accordingly so in the last learning we will learn about we will talk about how this classification impacts the statistical procedures that we will use.